you are interested in making money online and who can blame you? It is a fantastic way to make a living. I love being an online marketing person and making my living from the internet. So today I thought I would share with you six ways that I can think of that are really approachable ways for you to make money online, perhaps even make a living online. Now, three of these are active where you go out and you get clients and you actually work for individuals and get paid for your services. And three ideas are more passive income, which is much more along the lines of the way we, of the way that we make money here at Dotto Tech. And I'll share all six ideas with you today on Dotto Tech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? And I'm looking forward to today's topic because I love talking about making money online. It gives people a real sense of control over their lives. If they can do it, create a side hustle where they make some money online, or if they indeed make their entire living online, it again creates a sense of liberation and control over your life. And it's really exciting not to be bound by a artificial ceiling of exactly how much money you can or can't make. If you're building your own business online, well, the world's your oyster. You can determine Determine through your through your skills and through your effort exactly how much money you end up earning online and I love those I love those stories I love that opportunity so let's start by breaking it down into the two sections that we're going to talk about today I'm going to talk about active income opportunities which is a lot more finding clients and providing online services for individuals and for that I'm going to refer you to the time code which is above me somewhere here now if you're not interested in passive income but you want to learn about the active income opportunities then click on or move the video forward to that time code and I'll talk about those opportunities because we're going to start by talking about passive income, which I get really excited about. It's how I make my living. Passive income is where you've created something that generates revenue for you, even when you're not actively engaged and involved. Uh, selling product through an online store, affiliate marketing, those sorts of things are passive income opportunities that allow you to earn revenue. And there are three ways that I think are the easiest as far as passive income, or not the easiest, there are three basic ways that I'm quite experienced with in creating passive income that I'm going to share with you. The first is affiliate marketing. The second is being a content creator. And the third is online course. And actually, if you're interested in diving deeper into these passive income opportunities, I have an online course called Independent Income, which teaches you about affiliate marketing, content creation, and online course creation as far as creating digital products as a revenue opportunity. It's a great introduction to all of these opportunities. Uh, but for an even later introduction, let me start by telling you about Amazon affiliates, which is, I think, the easiest way to get started in the entire affiliate world. Now, typically speaking, Amazon affiliates is not going to be your main income. It's going to be what we would call a side hustle, where you can make money on the side by creating content that helps people make decisions. And really, the base of almost all uh, affiliate income is helping people make the right decisions. If you gain a trusted voice where you advise people on how to do something and you gain some expertise and a reputation in an area, then you can leverage that expertise into revenue opportunities by helping people make good decisions. So from the point of Amazon affiliates, if you do reviews of products and help people make decisions on what products they want to purchase from Amazon and they use your affiliate link to purchase that product, you're paid a commission. Now, one of the bonuses of the Amazon program is regardless of what people buy at Amazon within a predefined period, I think it's 24 hours of clicking on your link, you get compensated for anything else they buy on Amazon during that time period. So it can be quite, uh, there can be a nice little bonus revenue coming in from Amazon with one big caveat here. The percentages of revenue that we earn from our affiliate relationship with Amazon are microscopic. It's not a lot of money. It's very difficult to earn enough money off Amazon affiliates in order to make a living, but it is a nice side hustle and it introduces you very effectively to the entire concept of affiliate marketing. So that's where I like to start is with Amazon affiliates. 
Now, there are way better affiliate opportunities in vertical markets. If you develop an expertise teaching people about different software tools or productivity tools as we do, or almost any online tools, there are typically speaking affiliate programs related to those tools, which are far more lucrative. And if you follow us here on Dottotech, you'll recognize our affiliate relationships with companies like Thinkific that creates online courses and Bonjuro, which does uh, video marketing and conversions. We've got affiliate relationships with a variety of products where we teach our marketplace how to use these products and what they will do for them. And if they choose to buy them, then using our affiliate link, we are compensated uh, in return. And that can be quite lucrative. But as far as I'm concerned, the most effective and the most profitable method of online passive income is developing a digital product of your own, developing your own online course. If you have expertise in an area and you can teach people how to do that thing and you create a good valuable online course, that can generate the most revenue because you can apply a real strategy to it. One of the nice things about developing your own online course as opposed to being an affiliate marketer for other people's digital products is your success is dependent on the quality of your content, not on the quality of somebody else's service or product. And that is again, a very liberating place to be. So developing your own online course, although it's a much longer sales cycle, it takes a lot longer to get your feet under you as far as revenue goes, that to me is kind of the holy grail of passive income. Now the cool thing is, you can start this all as a side hustle. You could say over a course of 18 months or two years, start with doing a little bit of Amazon affiliate marketing, getting your feet under you as far as creating content, do some more vertical affiliate relationships as you go along, as you build your community, as you build your voice. And the whole time you're doing that, start to develop your own online course, which ultimately after you've built expertise and a reputation online, you can then sell to your community. And at that point there, there's a very good chance that you could transition from it being a side hustle, a part-time gig, into your full-time revenue gig. And that is a well-worn path. A lot of people have followed that success into the world of online marketing. So let me repeat one more time, just in case you're really interested and I've intrigued you and you wanna dive much more deeply into this, there'll be a link below to our course on independent income, on how you can build your own income stream through passive opportunities such as affiliate marketing and online courses. So the link will be below, have a look at that. Now let's talk about the other side of the coin, which is more active. That is becoming a virtual assistant or using your skills and charging for your time and services. And there is a little bit more of a ceiling on revenue that you can earn on these doing this. Uh, but even having said that, if you have some real good expertise in a very valuable area, you can generate a very healthy income as well. So for the most part, when we think about doing virtual services, we think about becoming a virtual assistant, uh, being a VA, helping somebody, working with them, doing organization and social marketing and a variety of different aspects there. Now, the best place to start, well, actually, I, I don't know what the best place to start is. I know there's a lot of places you can start. One thing I will caution you on is there are a variety of different agencies out there now that are representing virtual assistants. And some of them do a very good job of creating a relationship between potential clients and the virtual assistants. And they set really good expectations on either side of that equation. But they're also gonna be taking a commission for it and, and your reputation is gonna be tied to the agency that you work with. There's also a few online services that are far more, that are just kind of posting boards, such as Upwork or Indeed, where you can go to you look for opportunities for performing virtual services. I think for most people though, the best place to start is just looking in their own social network of people that they have experience with and reaching out to them and asking if they know of anybody that's looking for people to help them in your area of expertise. Now, the, one of the cool opportunities here though is you can develop additional skills that make you much more valuable to whoever it is you happen to be working for. You can start out by doing, you know, very simple social media posts, et cetera, or doing uh, or managing 
managing some accounting services or proofreading documents for somebody, something along that line. But then if you develop an expertise in Facebook or Google ads or, or email marketing, you can then leverage that experience in order to increase your revenue opportunities uh, with the individual clients that you're working with. So virtual assistants are, is a great way to kind of step into the game. Similarly, eh, but on an even easier level, you, if you have good English skills or good writing skills, you can quickly become a proofreader or a simple copywriter or a transcriptionist. A company that we work with called Rev.com does online transcriptions where, they, where you listen to or watch videos and do verbatim transcriptions. Those are opportunities that have definite ceilings for revenue because they're only going to pay you X number of dollars per word or per minute of content that you create. But if you've got an hour or two in the evening and you want to make a little mad money and you want a little bit of a side hustle, these are great, reliable opportunities that can consistently generate income for you that you might enjoy. And the bonus of doing something like Rev.com is you might be interested in the topics that you're doing transcriptions for. So looking around online for these opportunities, depending on your skill set. If you have a really good mastery of the English language, being a proofreader, there's lots of online services that you can sign up on that aspect, and we will have some links in the description below for that. Or if you're just a good typist, then something like Rev.com, which will allow you to do the transcriptions, would be a great opportunity. The final thing I want to talk to you about is if you have some serious writing chops. If you're a good writer, oh my gosh, the world is your oyster as far as finding online work. It's the biggest challenge for most content creators is finding good copywriters, finding people to write good quality blog posts or good content, or especially good advertising copy. Oh my goodness, it is such a challenge finding somebody that can write in your voice and understands the topics that you're dealing with. Now, you're probably tempted to go to a site like Upwork where you can upload a resume and hopefully that will marry people who are looking for writers to the writers. But speaking from personal experience, a site like Upwork is a difficult place to hire a writer because there's just so much work that goes into finding the right person. It's like a relationship. It's like dating. It's far more difficult in practicality than it seems to be on the surface. So there are some good brokerage services that marry people who need good writing to excellent writers. The one that I'm really kind of intrigued by is one called Writer's Access. Now, the, one of the reasons that I like this site so much is they charge me, if I want to hire writers, a membership fee just to gain access to the writers that they have behind their paywall. Now, that might offend some people and say, why in the world am I going to pay you before I even get a writer working on my project? because Writer's Access has put together a terrific interview format that allows you to create real, realistic expectations of the work that you need done and then marry you to writers who can deliver on that. It's all about expectations being met with Writer's Access. And anybody who's ever hired a writer knows that the biggest challenge is meeting the expectations that you put in place, is, is having realistic expectations and having them met. If you do have your expectations met, your money spent on hiring an outside writer is well spent. Writer's Access makes sure that you find the right writers that can write in your voice with the technical skills that you need in order to deliver to your expectations. I like that. It's a great opportunity for content creators, but especially it's a great opportunity for good writers to find the clients that they need in order to make a good living. So there you've got six different ideas around making money online. And there are a million more. There's no doubt. I would love to see your comments of ideas that you have, things that you or think can make money online or that you're passionate about making money online. I think a lot of us look for that side hustle, look for a little bit of extra money on the side and a lot to allow us to, to A, have some additional flexibility, a little more security and find a little more value in our time, in our downtime. But those of us that want to transition from that being a side hustle to a full-time gig, it's a very exciting time to be in the online space. The opportunities are virtually endless for making money online, and we've just shared six simple ones with you to get your mind started in the right direction. I hope you found today's video to be useful. Please, comments below. If you've not yet subscribed to Dottertech, 
subscribe and ring that notification bell and a little thumbs up would be appreciated as well. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle.